Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Business Morning. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. Well, Nigeria's Minister of Information, Al Haji Lai Mohammed, says an advanced copy of the 2017 budget may have been received by the Minister of Budget and National Planning, but it has not yet been formally presented to the executive. Al Haji Mohammed was speaking at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting in Abuja on Wednesday. Has got an advanced copy of what you know, was, was passed, and that is what mm. we need to look at and see whether it's, uh, you know, uh, it's what, if anybody has any issues or any problems about it, that is what I'm talking about. It's not been transmitted officially to the presidency. When it is submitted to the, to the presidency, that mm -hmm. decision will be taken. And Osfarm International says the combined wealth of five richest Nigerians put at $29.9 billion could end extreme poverty in the country. The statement is contained in the inequality report released on Wednesday by the organization. Oxfam says the benefits of Nigeria's economic growth is in the hands of a few at the expense of the man on the streets. The report indicates that 69% of Nigerians in the North East now live below the poverty line compared to 49% in the Southwest, stressing that economic inequality is the main reason for the conflict in the North East region. And the petroleum product supply to the northern part of the country has received a boost as the NNPC recommissioned its um, Kanu Depot, which was destroyed years ago by pipeline vandals. The management believes the recommissioning will restore supply and distribution for the benefit of Nigerians in line with the presidential mandate to revamp national oil assets. Today's recommissioning of the strategic NNPC Kanu Depot is one of the several strides embarked upon by the corporation under its 12, under its 12 business focus areas with the aim of revamping NNP, NNPC assets in order to reposition the corporation towards an upward trajectory of sustained profitability. Efforts are also underway to recommission the remaining parts of the system to this pipeline system which will take products from Kaduna to Jos, Kaduna to Suleja and Mina, Kaduna to Kusau, Piazaria, plus very soon, uh, Jos, Gonde, Suleja and Kusau depots will experience the impact of our collective resolve to get these critical infrastructures back on soon. We want to continue to urge and pray that this, your overall roadmap of regenerating and re-transforming the whole downstreams that uh, should please continue as you have enumerated. And to the markets now, the equities market fired on with the all share index gaining on Wednesday by 1.05% to close at 27,900.44 points. And Wednesday's gain was on the back of a broad-based demand across the various sectors, driving the month-to-month -month date and year-to-date gains higher to 8.31% and 3.82% um, each. Investors stuck to consumer goods and banking names, in particular the shares of Nestle, Nigerian Breweries, GT Bank and Axis were in strong demand. Now, the total volume traded dropped by 34.74% to 371.46 million, valued at 3.49 billion naira, and exchanged in 3,910 deals. And at the unlisted securities uh, market, the index fell by 2.20% to close at 573.48 points. The market's capitalization closed at 388.09 billion naira. And in just six deals, investors traded a total volume of 12,635 securities, 
valued at 1.59 million naira. Are the fixed income market investors were bullish in the bond space with um, average yield contracting by three basis points to close at 6.86%. Um, are the FMDQ OTC market securities maturing March 18, 2036 had the highest value with a price high of 7831 uh, in 17 deals. It was followed by security maturing March 14, 2024 and uh, July 18, 2034 and uh, J January 27, 2022. The total number of deals was um, 49 and uh, the total value traded on Wednesday came to 5.90 billion naira. Meanwhile, at the Treasury bill space, yields remained pressured, driven by sell-offs at the mid and long segment of the curve. Overall, average yield expanded by 11 basis points to 18.88%. There was a primary auction yesterday, and uh, we are yet to get the results. Uh, the FMDQ OTC market securities maturing August 17, 2017, had the highest value at 28.42 billion naira with a discount high of 18.90 in 94 deals. It was followed by security mature in July 20, 2017, and then um, November 16, 2017, and May 3rd, 2018. Uh, number of deals traded on uh, Wednesday was 521, valued at 136.03 billion naira. Uh, the foreign exchange markets, the Naira out the interbank market declined against the pounds and the euro to uh, 410 Naira 51 Kobo and 349 Naira 78 Kobo each, while the, it closed flat at 305 Naira 45 Kobo. Uh, the parallel market, the Naira weakened against the pounds to 497 Naira while it remained flat against the dollar and euro at uh, 385 Naira and 420 Naira. Meanwhile, the Naira strengthened against the dollar to close